Hello, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery on a Dell Latitude 7200 2-in-1 laptop tablet. This is a popular thin model that you can use as a tablet with the keyboard detached or attach the keyboard and you got a full-blown laptop. We are going to replace the battery in this with a battery the model of which is 1F as in Fred, KCC. I'll put that number down in the description of this um, video so that you can have it for reference. We buy these on eBay. I want to say they're $30 to $40 range. Um, but you can, you can get them right on eBay under that number, 1FKCC. Now, in order to change this battery out, you're going to need... A Phillips screwdriver, you're probably going to need a small one. Um, and a little pry tool, we use a, a little pry tool that looks like a nail file. You could use a small bladed screwdriver. You'll see in a minute here what we're using it for, but that's all you need. The little screwdriver, some of these screws are small. So the first thing we're going to do is lift up the leg and remove the perimeter screws holding the case in place. These are small screws. You're going to need the small screw, Phillips screwdriver. They're captured screws, so they're not going to come out so you won't lose them. They'll be there when we come back to reassemble them later in this video. So you undo those from around the perimeter. And that allows you now the ability to turn the tablet upside down Detach the keyboard, which is just magnetically held on there. Now, the tricky spot. We are going to take this screen off. It is just press fit on there. So all you got to do is get into some spot up in the corners where we usually do it and force your tool into there and pry it open. Work that tool down the screen. There's little plastic tabs that are holding it. Just work it gently and you'll hear them unsnap and this will start to come off. When you get it to a certain point, you can get your fingers in there and pry it off. You can see it started to separate. Looks like it's gonna need just a little more coaxing with our pry tool. Give it a couple more of them off. Now we should be able to mechanically just lift it off. There you go, and it's off. You can leave the connectors between that assembly and the motherboard connected. You don't need to take them off. We're going to unassemble now the battery. It's held in by a series of Phillips screws around the perimeter. Just take those off. And then um, once you've got those off, there's a connector, electrical connector to the motherboard. Just pulls off. There's a little tab on it that allows you to grab onto it and you just pull back and off it comes. Now you can take the key, the battery right off. Now you take your new battery and reverse the process. Slip it into that slot. Take the um, assembly screws and reattach the new battery now to the case assembly by reassembling those screws around the perimeter. Once you've got the screws all in place, now you reattach the connector to the motherboard. It just slides straight into the connector. And it's got a little assistance there to mechanically give you some leverage to make sure that it won't come off. Now you're going to take the screen assembly, line it up with the case. You'll see the little plastic tabs all around the perimeter of the um, assembly. Just get them lined up. And once you've got them lined up, you can just push down on them with your thumbs and they'll snap into place. So you can see you work your way around the perimeter, pushing those down, and uh, you've got the assembly together. Now, turn it upside down. We're going to reassemble those 
small Phillips head screws that we did in the first step of the process. They were captured, so they should still be right there in the plastic. And we're going to screw them down. That will finish the assembly of the case to the screen assembly. And with the last screw, you're finished. Now you can turn it upside down, make sure it's magnetically connected to the keyboard, hit the power on button, and the Dell sign comes up. You did a good job. If you like this uh, video, hit the like button, or uh, if you want to subscribe to our channel, please do so. If you have any comments on videos you'd like to see us add to this channel in the future, please leave a message in the comment section below. This is Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.